On this Friday morning, now afternoon, we are back here in Cary, North Carolina for the final game of the group stage. The Wrexham Red Dragons against Sayward FC TST. Cary, North Carolina, a beautiful day. It's the rules again here, fourth soccer tournament, 7v7, two 20 minute halves, no offsides or throw-ins. Every game ends in target score time. It is proven to be awesome. As we take a look at our starting lineups, brought to you by Ufos, a late change for Sayward FC. Tyler Yates, the goalkeeper, in place of Brandon Miller. So let's see how that plays out in this one. Sayward FC in white, Wrexham in red. You could not ask for better weather. We are underway here in this must-win game for Sayward FC. A turnover early on, Jones. Now getting it back is Diego Gafuni for Sayward FC. He's had some pretty impressive movements on and off the ball throughout this tournament. Trundle plays it. Here's Murkovic for the goal. One of the two Americans for Wrexham puts Wrexham on top early. Credit to Lee Trundle for the assist on this goal. Trundle draws two defenders to him and the movement in advance of him from Murkovic. He already has a goal to his name in this tournament. Keep an eye on him. As soon as Trundle takes that second touch, Murkovic just goes in undetected and you cannot allow a player of Murkovic's quality. And that's a confident finish. The goalkeeper comes out and you still have to execute. He does so there. I want to call him the shack of the TST. <laughs> There are a couple other players that he reminds me of. It came Olajuwon, Patrick Oh, Dealing. there's a lofted ball that just goes over the crossbar. Trundle with that left, the cross. Oh, beautiful setup. And that goes just wide again. It's Smirkovic on the receiving end of a pass by Trundle. Smirkovic really starting to figure out how he can be effective. Whenever Trundle gets the ball, you have to move off of him. And that's a beautiful pass in. He can't angle it and steer it towards goal, though these guys right you're out here you're reacting how did this play out between yourself and Lee Trundle and and you come up with another one no they've been really helpful talking to me out day in day out uh, about what to expect you know how to play with them well done another goal right there uh, just shows that they're very you know willing to help me out in the field as a player as a person as well you know learning a lot from them so they've been really helpful a lot so to adapt to this type of game style that they're playing right now they've been a huge help to me here is Trundle Shot. Trundle gets it back, trying to shed off a defender, leaves it, nice pass, and there's a kick save by Tyler Yates. Look at where his starting position is. He's already in the channel area, rather than being central. In the box, the opening, one save, not this one. Daniel Jarvis with a second goal here in the first half. Is at the right place at the right time. Credit to George Boyd, though. Has an instinct for goal, but Jarvis, he bundles that in the ground. I think that bounce into the ground is what gets it over the slide tackle of the defender. Free ball in the box. Jada still has it, takes a shot, gets it blocked. And Wrexham now on the counter. Great defending from Scott Butler. The long legs of Jada, so difficult. Dangerous ball in there. Yates got a hand on it, but it's still loose. And this will lead to a corner. Nope, it's going to be a foul. I do agree with you. Don't think it was that dramatic. <laughs> Here's Boyd. Nice pass. Another shot and another goal by the coach player, David Jones. And that is the final play of this first half. This looks like something Wrexham drew off the training ground. Boyd has been at the heart of so many good things with Trundle off the field. Recognizes the space at the far post, and Jones scored a massive goal in that first game against Como as well. Has the timing and the awareness of when to step into that space and dispatches it in the back of the net. Sears Lewis Lloyd. Lloyd gets taken down by the keeper, and I believe that's going to be a penalty. Be interesting to see this again on the replay. 
Because at first, I thought Yates had gotten the ball. He may have been a half a step late. And that extra touch there from Lloyd, yeah, I thought he got the ball. May have been a bit of a harsh penalty kick call. He gets the ball first. To take the PK, and it's a save by Yates, the kick save. I like what you also said, poetic justice. The shot is ripped, and it's another goal for David Jones. Tyler Yates looks like he just got confused on that. Jones just eyes this up because he takes a good touch, gets the ball out of his feet. It allows him to get a lot of quality technique and keep an eye on the movement of this ball. It knuckles a bit. I think that's what leaves Yates stranded and planted on his feet. Great strike. Racing towards the end line. The cross and the header to goal. Oh, what a goal by Ricardo Aguilar. This is the first time that Sayward has gotten to the end line and crossed it in, and that is a quality header. Redirects it into the back of the net. Caleb Steele applying the pressure into the midfield. Here's Rutherford. Out wide, Cavallo, his cross, and there's the goal. Lewis Lloyd, another goal. In the goals, makes a good run into the channels. And I think it's that early service again that makes the difference. He gets the ball out from under his feet, but because he whips it in across the face of the goal, it allows Floyd to bundle that in. Here we are in the 31st minute at 6 to 1, Wrexham leading. Trying to add to their total, but a nice save right there by Yates. Jarvis to Boyd, and Boyd, his attempt goes wide. Oh, beautiful touch all the way around, and it's Daniel Jarvis again. The patience shown there by Merkovic, Boyd, and Jarvis results in a seventh goal for Wrexham. Keep an eye on the unselfish play from George Boyd. He knows Yates is coming off his line in no man's land. And this is what happens when you're playing with confidence, when you're playing as a team. A lot of their goals have come from unselfish play and walking the ball almost to the back of the net. Oh. All right, so here are the rules of the target score. The target score is set. The leading team score plus one. First, the target score wins. For every five minutes we play without getting to that target score, one player from each team is removed. Here's Merkovic. Merkovic. Leaves it out, the shot goes high by Dan Jones. A nice setup by Merkovic. Just about 30 seconds away from having a player come off the field as that shot is turned away by Yates. And now the quick reset, here comes Wrexham. And the shot, and there is the game winner by Nico Cavallo. The young Americans make an impact here for Wrexham. This is a moment that Nico Cavallo will never forget. You see what it means to Lee Trundle to go over there, the respect he pays to him. When Trundle gets this, he's been a playmaker today, scoring goals last night, playmaking today. And for Cavallo, when you have the quality of Trundle, all you have to do is make runs off of him. And that is not an easy finish. If your goalkeeper coming at you goes through his legs, the five hole, and that's quality, that is what confidence will do, and that's game set match.